So this is the Dell Latitude 5520 and Dell Latitude laptops as you know is a series made for businesses. So why are we a consumer electronics focused channel reviewing a business laptop? Well, you can actually buy the Dell Latitude 5520 that we showed here today on Dell's website for your own personal use. But the question is, who should buy this and why? With that question aside, let's review this laptop here today. Firstly, let's talk about the design of the Dell Latitude 5520 here because it has a very standard laptop design overall and I think it is okay since this laptop I think is most suitable for executives that usually work in their own station and mobility is not required. So the design, size and weight doesn't really matter here. And upon lifting the laptop for the first time, I realized that the Dell Latitude 5520, the build quality here is not the most impressive because it's mostly made out of plastic. But eventually, I did come across Dell's website which said that this laptop is made out of bioplastics from tree. So that's interesting. And now, after we open up the hinge and then we take a look inside, the keyboard is a pretty decent one overall, I would say. It feels good to type on. The entire typing area is shifted to the left to make space for the number pad like many other laptops in the market right now. That power button placement is not ideal, but Dell did make this button a lot stiffer than other keys on the keyboard, so mm, it kind of reduces the chances of accidental presses. But what I don't like about this keyboard is that arrow key cluster, which is very frustrating whenever I try to use it. As for the trackpad, I think it's pretty okay in terms of tracking overall, but the palm rejection could have been better. The trackpad has also been shifted to the left side, which is very awkward to use overall, but I think whoever is at an office desk job will have an external mouse anyway, so yeah, the trackpad is kind of like an emergency fallback situation, then you have to use it, it's there. As for the specs, the Dell Latitude 5520 is available in a variety of different versions. The one that we have here is equipped with the Intel Core i7 11850G7, which is actually a pretty rare chip to be used in laptops in general. It is also equipped with the Intel Iris Xe graphics, one stick of 16 gigs of RAM, and 512 gigs of NVMe SSD. With such specs, the Dell Latitude 5520 is indeed a very powerful laptop. And we did some intensive tests for the Intel Core i7 11850G7 in the past, so you can check all of them out at the top right corner there. You can play games or edit videos on this laptop. Yes, it's powerful enough to do so, but I don't think you're buying this laptop in particular for that purpose, given the price for this laptop. And as for the display, this laptop here comes with a very typical 15.6 inch IPS LCD, 1080p in resolution, looks good and that's about it it doesn't have a touch screen and it also can only go up to 250 nits of brightness so i think it is made with only indoors usage in mind however there is a special slider at the top of this laptop here to cover up the webcam entirely but this webcam module is kind of huge since it does have a built-in ir camera for windows hello facial recognition and login too and while on that subject, we should also move on to the one key highlight about this laptop in particular, which is security. Now, if we look at the ports available on this laptop, we have a lot of them. There are multiple USB ports, microSD card reader, Ethernet port, double Thunderbolt 4 ports for both data and charging. But what's this? SC card slot? Yeah, that is actually a literal service card slot that you can slot in a card for authentication purposes. And if you head into Dell's website, you can further customize the Dell Latitude 5520 to include some other security features like fingerprint reader and also an NFC card reader so that you can log in with a contactless card instead of stuffing in a service card every time you want to log in. So back to the original question at the beginning of this video. Who should buy this laptop and why? This is the Dell Latitude 5520 and within the Latitude series is all meant for businesses which is why you have the service card reader, all of the NFC card reader and all of those stuff and it is also available in the vPro manageability version as well 
but that is only for enterprise purposes if you have a lot of employees and you want management across all of your employees devices to be easy and from the perspective of an enterprise i think this is a pretty decent laptop overall it's durable has a large screen a full-size keyboard for work but <clears throat> the arrow key cluster is just way too bad <clears throat> and it is also rather power efficient since we can charge this laptop using any usb pd chargers with at least 65 watts of output and plugging it into any of the usb type c ports you can also buy more warranty and there is an option that you can buy a literal tech support phone label which costs 84 ringgit and yeah i think all of these options are only suitable for enterprises for general consumers like you and me i don't think this laptop is suitable for us so yeah there are a lot of better options even within dell's catalog for the same price but offers i think a more suitable type of specs and features for content creators or something like that yeah this this laptop is just not meant for general consumers overall so if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section below and we we'll see you guys in the next video